Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite video. In this video, I will explain what the collection book is and how transformation works. The collection book can be unlocked from the skill tree. Then you can place any schematic you own in there. This will permanently remove the schematic from your inventory, so it's best to wait until you have some spares or if you know you're not going to use it. Keep in mind that in order to place all the rarities in the book, you do need to purchase the right note from the skill tree. Now the collection book itself contains completion pages that shows you how much progress you have done. There is also a progress bar on the top which shows how far you are from the next reward and what it is you're gonna get. You can only store schematics once and after that you can just recycle the extra schematics you don't need. Now I'm gonna take a look at my schematics. I'm gonna start from the top with my heroes. There is a number next to the subcategories which indicates how many items can be stored. It does not show duplicates however. You have to check that for yourself by pressing on each card. I will show you that in a bit. I press on soldiers and it says I can store 4. I could store my rare heroes but since I only have one of them I'm not gonna do that for now. But I have one type of soldier which is the survivalist. Here I have an uncommon and a rare one. I'm gonna store the uncommon one because I have another one that is better. Now press on the card. The progress bar shows a green color on top that shows how much the card is gonna give. Press on it again to store it. Moving on to the next category which is the people. I'm gonna choose survivors. I can store one of the common survivors so I'm just gonna do that. Of course the better the rarity the better XP you're gonna get to your collection book. However I should mention that if you have got the same schematic twice and you've leveled up one of them, you will get more XP from the leveled up one than you would from the default one. Next I'll show you an example how it looks if you have duplicates. If I go to my traps and pick wall traps, I choose the wooden wall spikes and you can see that I have two of them. I just pick one and store it. Now I'm just gonna go through my other stuff. Um, this is the floor traps. I have an uncommon one and a rare one. I'm just gonna store the uncommon one. have this common pistol, I'm just gonna store that because at this point I really don't need any of the common or uncommon ones. Same goes for the shotgun. I have two of these spears, so I'm just gonna store one of them. I'm also gonna store this assault rifle even though it's rare because I don't really like using it so I'm just gonna store it. And here I just got my reward for level 24. I got a lead survivor and then I got a normal survivor. So now that I'm done with the collection book for now, I'm just gonna go back into my schematics and see if I have any spares because I'm just going to recycle them so I can get the XP. So I'm just going to mark all of the common and uncommon ones because I know I already have them stored. I don't have any extra rares so I'm just going to recycle these ones for now. And now we're done with all of the recycling and collection book. So now I'm going to move on to transform. Transformation can be unlocked from the skill tree. You can transform more items and people when you unlock the right nodes from the skill tree. Right now I only have one I can transform which is the survivor key. If you press on it you'll see that there are 5 empty slots. You need to place 5 cards or less depending on their value to be able to transform. In order to transform you also need the requirements which can be seen in the bottom right. Now before I do anything I'm gonna first check how many points I need to transform. I'm gonna place this epic hero with 200 points. If you look on the right it now says 30 points and the blue bar is filled to max. Below that it also shows what you will receive. It has to say max if you want that exact rarity. Anything below that will give you a lower rarity. Now I'm just gonna remove this epic hero because 200 points is a lot when you only need 30. Now I could place one of these heroes. They give 32 points. 
it's still two points too much so i'm not gonna do that but if you want you can now i'm gonna go to the defender tab and go to the bottom and pick the common defenders because they give 10 points each so i only need three of them in order to get 30. If I only use two, I will only get an uncommon survivor and some hero XP, so make sure to fill it up to max. The higher the rarity, the more of the requirements you need. Uncommon only needs 60 of the people, whereas the rare ones needs 140. I don't have 140 people, so I can't transform at this moment. That was it for this video guys. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!